Hey, hi, this is Alex Wolford, and uh, I wanted to give you a very, very quick uh, introduction um, to uh, storing time series metrics and analyzing them using uh, OpenTSDB. Um, so, the Open Time Series Database, and it, this came from a company called uh, StumbleUpon and um, it runs on top of HBase and uh, that means it's very scalable. So here's a quick look at the, uh, the architecture. So basically um, you have these um, uh, daemons running here and they will serve um, HTTP requests and they'll also process uh, incoming time series data and persist them in HBase. And uh, these um, are not aware of each other so they scale uh, horizontally. So this is very scalable and I've heard um, you, we can get about between two and five thousand uh, transactions per second per core. So um, just to give you some idea of you know how, how uh, much throughput you can expect for a, you know, a certain amount of hardware. Um, so I have an example running here and uh, so what, what I did, I got uh, an Intel Edison and uh, so I don't know if you can see this, but you know it's a little $50 computer, and uh, I have a temperature sensor here, and um, I wrote um, a, a little bit of code that is going to um, write the temperature and humidity to uh, open TSDB, TB, which I have running, and uh, we'll be able to see that data flowing in real time. So um, it's actually running right now. So let's have a look. So, um, oh yeah, look, you can see I've put the device in the, in the sunshine on the, uh, the, the, uh, the desk here and you can see the temperatures um, kind of uh, climbing up and maybe I can, uh, I can put it in the shade and you'll see the temperature drop. Um, one second. It's polling every five seconds. Yeah, look at that, straight away you can, you can see it drop. Um, yeah, so these are coming in in real time. And, uh, so you can downsample these, and there's all, all types of uh, aggregations that you can do, you know, percentiles and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, there's there's also clients for this. Um, so I wanted to show you really quickly. You know, you can, you can import this data straight into R. So here's here's an example. Um, we are going to create a time series object. So we've just read in the Celsius readings for the last two minutes into a data frame. There's two thousand odd of them. And uh, if we can, we should be able to see them. How oh, I can't see them. Uh, uh, there we go. All right. So, so you know, you can see the name of the metric, the timestamp, and what have you, and the actual values coming in. And um, you know, we can uh, turn them into a, a time series object and plot them and do all that cool sort of data science-y uh, stuff that you can do in R. So, uh, so that's it. That is my, my very, very short uh, introduction uh, to the uh, open uh, time series database. All right, thank you.